best way to get a visual representation of what's happening in your Salesforce Connect is from your dashboard. Your dashboard components provide the most relevant information within the system and are easily accessible from your desktop or mobile app. This video is intended to provide an overview of general functionality and navigation within a Salesforce Connect dashboard. If you have any questions regarding a specific dashboard or component, please reach out to your local Salesforce Connect support. Let's get started to find out how you can use the dashboards to best fit your needs. It is important to note that your dashboards do not automatically refresh. You will need to click Refresh every time you visit your dashboard to ensure you are viewing the most up-to-date information. Let's take a look at our first component. First note the title of the component, which indicates what is being reported. Under the title, you can also see the time frame for which this report is filtered. In the footer of the component, you can find a quick detail or note regarding the information calculating the results. And finally, at the very bottom of the component is the View Report link. Clicking on the link opens the full report details for this component. Let's take a look at a different component to see a few other features available on your dashboards. You can expand any component by clicking the arrows in the top right corner. From the expanded view of the component, you can find additional buttons in the top right hand corner. This is the download button. You can use this to save a picture of the chart. The next button is the chatter option. From here, you can post this chart to your chatter feed and start the conversation with your team. Within the chart itself, there are some quick and easy features. You can hover over any portion of the chart to get a quick glance of the information being reported. To drill down into the details of a specific portion of the chart, click on any one of the chart groupings, legend items, or a specific piece of the graph. For example, in this chart, you can click on the red part of the bar for ACVs to see all of the unworked ACVs. This will launch you directly into the report pre-filtered for what you selected from the dashboard chart. As with all reports in Salesforce Connect, you can click on the filter icon in the top right corner to view or edit the filters of the report. In this example, you can see the report is calculating for a specific date range. To change this to a different time frame, simply click on the filter and choose a different selection. Make sure to hit apply to update your report to see the new results. For any managers out there, did you know you can view your dashboard as anyone on your team? Salesforce Connect automatically shows you the dashboard from your point of view. To view your dashboard as someone on your team, click the Change button next to Viewing As. From here, simply type in the name of the person you want to view the dashboard as, and Salesforce Connect will do the rest of the work for you. I hope you've enjoyed this TNT video on Salesforce Connect. Please share these tips with your friends and colleagues and comment on this video to let our team know which tips you've enjoyed the most or if you have any requests for future videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to see all upcoming TNT videos.